Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I do want to say this is a little bit of a change of scenery for me. I usually sit on a chair when I'm filming, but today I thought I would sit on the floor and actually share with you some of my storage in my craft room. You'll see all my markers and pens and all sorts of stuff here and then my embellishments. I talk a lot about these little guys here with the little containers and Sandy actually sent me some extras so I'll share with you. Um, part of like a Dollar Tree haul I guess if you're looking for them definitely peek for these because they fit right into um, these little acrylic organizers from Michaels. So anyway this is a little bit different for me. I um yeah I have had a really busy couple weeks so just wanted to catch up on that I know a lot of you have been asking me have I stopped my Dollar Tree shop with me no I have not don't worry they will be back on the channel just life is super busy at this time of year with Easter my daughter's birthday <laughs> um, year-end work everything um, around the holidays is always a little bit crazier so anyways I do want to apologize I just haven't had time to go into the store and film when I have gone in it was quick a quick list of things that I need run in and come out and I just have not had the chance to film for you guys however I did go to HomeSense and Winners and I've, I shared HomeSense with you guys so definitely take a peek if you like looking at what's in home decor and colors and all that stuff definitely take a peek at that shop with me it is a little bit of a different style of course because it's not Dollar Tree things but it is really relaxed and I know a lot of you guys are into the ASMR feel of the videos I also the thing is I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys and we'll get right into it actually we didn't really get right into it but I did go in and of course I always end up leaving with more things so <laughs> I purchased these have not been in stock for a while and when I saw them I picked them up right away they're the little candle holders and they're the glass candle holders just like this they were always in stock tons of them on the shelves but I think because of the DIYs a lot of DIYs are taking place with them they sell out rather quickly actually I wanted to share with you guys this little vintage phone oh my gosh so cute I think it's probably rough 1970s uh, a phone I bought it at Value Village I just thought it was so cute it went really nicely on my craft table back a uh, hutch here if you guys caught that video I made those with the bamboo boards from the Dollar Tree definitely check it out such a simple DIY and so cost effect effective so I have the unit running up along the wall there and I actually made another little box that I put on my bookshelf I'll insert a little clip of that as well anyways okay random stuff lots of DIY crafts that I kind of had in mind and was hoping to work a little bit over the Easter weekend on stuff but it just didn't happen so anyways here <laughs> here's a few things so there's a little cookie pan and I don't normally see this size at our store so I think it's probably a holiday item so I, I grabbed that and then I grabbed also a splatter screen these are fantastic for the kitchen of course nice to keep it nice and clean and fresh or um I have a DIY in mind for it so that's why I purchased it I did get along with these little you'll probably see often you know the the, the glass vase attached to the glass candle holder um Anyways, I do have a DIY in mind, so I hope to get that filmed for you guys very shortly. I was so happy. I've been on the search for these for quite some time. I've used them in previous DIYs, and I love them. I did a beautiful glam filled with gems, filled with beads. Just such a beautiful tray that I shared on the channel. I was very well received by you guys, but I had another DIY in mind, and I wanted the silver frame so these have been sold out for quite some time I managed to find two and there were a ton but this is what I needed and then I got some mirrors and ah there's a mirror I don't want it to reflect and the light will go off but there's the um I don't know if you could see that there's the little is the light gonna shine and blind you guys there there you go. I think you can see that. So I got two of them because I have some DIYs in mind and I needed two of those as well. I got some more of these. I had so much fun transforming a couple of them for Easter. I wrote egg on it and, and uh, spray painted and stuff, but I had some cute little rustic slash farmhouse decor that I really want to work with these. So that's another DIY item. And I picked up 
another pack of these Shopkin socks. So it comes with three pairs and they're a nice size, 13 to four. So um, these were really popular Shopkins. I think some kids are still into it, but this is a great, great value for $1.25 is what we pay here in Canada for a trio pack of socks. I could go to Walmart, easily pay $5. So that is for my daughter. I grabbed some of these because these only come out at uh, in the springtime. So spring spring and summer kind of things but right now once these kind of go that's it so I bought two hanging wire baskets you see a lot of DIYs done with these and I'm looking forward to playing around with this and doing something fun and girly with them so hopefully it turns out ah also another item that you only see around this time of year is the plant support so there's for tomatoes and all sorts of things it is so gloomy here today. It was. It started off with a beautiful sunny day. It is warm, finally. I don't know how your weather is out where you are. I hope you guys are enjoying some good weather. But we do have a really bad forecast of rain coming in for a straight uh, few days. And it's just gloomy and yucky. So anyways, hopefully the sun comes out. I think it's supposed to come out Friday. Friday of, oh my gosh. April 26th. I will see the sun again, hopefully. Cooking concept. So a grill topper. This looks warped, I think, actually looking at it now. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just me. Uh, anyways, I purchased it for a DIY. I'm not sure what I will do with it, to be honest with you. I had an idea and then I think it escaped me. Kitchen Company bamboo skewers. There's 100 in here and they're just regular, really thin. I think I will do something with that as well. And then I purchased these for the kitchen. I love having them on hand. There's a square and a rounded edged one. These are bamboo as well. And these make for beautiful gifts. Like if you're doing a hostess gift for someone who just purchased a home, you can definitely find some really nice useful items at the Dollar Tree, put them together in a little organization bin that they can reuse as a storage bin in their home. But um, things like this, you can never really go wrong. They're not plastic, they're bamboo, so you know that they're you know, gonna be okay in the kitchen. I did purchase another little bag of white sand. This here, I've done a really nice, beautiful vase. It was more it's not Easter, but it was more glam. I will link a little card for you guys to take a look. I filled it with sand and then I put some jewels in it as well. And I love the look. It's in my great room right now. And I just wanted to fill it up with a little bit more sand. I think it needed a little more substance. So that's why I bought another bag. Because once you plop these into these jars here, it doesn't go very far. The quantity is not the greatest. I wonder, does anyone know if there's bigger bags out there that are available? from a different store oh my goodness this was exciting for me so I purchased some more of these did you guys see the beautiful glam tray I made for my daughter's uh, spa birthday theme party oh my gosh these are amazing they I hung them onto really thin string that you can use for jewelry making and they have stayed so well I am so happy with the quality and they bling they sure do bling they look like little crystals so these are not commonly found so I had to swoop them up I think these are a Christmas decorative accent that you see so if you still have some hanging on your shelves by the way the moss is all restocked so green moss at our stores are fully stocked again uh, they were gone for weeks and all of a sudden they're back up so if you need some green moss run to your Dollar Tree as quickly as possible because I think they got a nice big shipment of it oh I got four and then oh that's weird, I don't know how that is. Okay, so I got another little one of these baskets because I want to do a little transformation of this and I hope it, hope, hope it works. But yeah, anyways, I, it, it will be kind of like a plant stand. Did you see the little plant stand that I made with the tumbling tower blocks? They, I made a little, I guess like a little stool kind of plant stand for the uh, ceramic pot that I had bought at the Dollar Tree weeks ago. I absolutely love it. It sits here in my craft room and I, I just love the way it turned out and knowing how much money I saved because I had been at home since shopping and I saw that they were going for, you know, even a little plant, a faux plant on the little plant stand was going for $25. I was like, oh my goodness. I already had a succulent, a real succulent at home. I had my ceramic pot, which cost me $1.25 and then I made my little stand. I actually made two stands for less than $1.25. <laughs> you cannot go wrong when you have something for less than $3. 
uh, versus paying 25 at the store. So just a few minutes of your time and a little hammering and it's done and you will love it. I also bought this little wood, um, just looking at it, it's a little dented here. So be careful when you're picking them up because if somebody drops them, they, they get damaged. But I made a cute little essential oil box with the long ones and I'm not sure what I'll do with this one, but I, I like the look of these little wooden boxes these days. So anyways, that's my haul. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter weekend. Enjoy some quality time with friends, family, yourself. Take some time for yourself as well over the holidays. It is nice to just zone out and relax for a little bit because of the hustle and bustle of life. I think Easter weekend is probably one of my favorites, especially that Friday and Sunday, everything is closed. You can't really work you can't really go out other than spending quality time with friends and family so anyways i hope you are surrounded with love and happiness and until next time everyone thank you so very much also i wanted to say i saved this for the last because i know some of you guys stick around till the end and you guys mean the world to me but i hit 50,000 subscribers i cannot say thank you thank you enough to each and every one of you for having supported me and clicking that subscribe button giving me thumbs up giving me feedback good or bad i take it all and I really do appreciate you all so thank you again and I'm so so excited that I've hit 50,000 subscribers I never imagined that oh my goodness starting off on a pen review of gel pens which are in behind me here would have led to all of this so again I want to say thank you and I hope if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Vanessa sorry I saved this for the end I appreciate you being here and stopping by if you love hauls if you love DIYs if you love crafting I do share paper crafts ASMR I know that's more of my certain niche on the channel I do uh, cater to you guys as well as I've learned about it in the last year and have been very open-minded about it and sharing those things with you guys and I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys very soon and until next time bye have a great weekend